Hello, and welcome to Reaching Dream Fulfillment. This is um, the last video of uh, 2017, and I've come to the beach once again at the edge of a cliff, and this is where I'll be planning before I make all my monthly goal reports. I'll be reassessing. And the main thing I'm working on this year is coming up with, outside of very concrete goals, having markers and very uh, detailed and certain numbers that I'm going to try to achieve because numbers uh, are a good measurement and what gets measured gets done. So there will be different parts of this video, but right now I'm at the cliff at the beach and I'm going to be planning out my year for 2018. Now I am back from the beach and I went through um, reassessing my goals for 2018, monitoring my progress and seeing where I can really make a breakthrough in 2018. So let's look. My goal, one of the goals is I have to have three new forms of income by my birthday when I graduate in a couple of years in on my birthday or in June that depends on something anyways one of the th three new forms of income is selling things on eBay I have gone in through my entire video collection thrown away uh, CDs that were from my video collection that were not in good shape I will only sell the top quality stuff so I can have a good eBay rating. So now I will be taking and on my first attempt of uh, taking pictures for eBay, I got some recommendations from a friend and didn't turn out the way I wanted to. Somebody else who's my computer tech only spent a few moments at my house, maybe 10, 15 minutes, 20 the most. We were talking about something else and I now have a good procedure, so I will go through and take pictures of high quality pictures of those videos, 10 a day. And when that's all done, I will be selling things on eBay this month. And from there, I will go through another plan, which is called the next part, which will be the Walmart plan. Right now, I'm trying to create a very good rating, seller's rating on eBay, and then from there, I will be more readily able to sell things. And now that my video collection is gone, where I had all the videos behind this glass case, that will be my book collection. So going pretty good there. Uh, and I'm gonna watch a video when I'm done with that, with making all the pictures and selling everything on eBay of those videos. I will make my um, first profit uh, selling something, kind of a small business. And from there, I will watch a video that a friend sent me that will give me ideas of how to sell things and flip them on from buying things from Walmart and somewhere else too. My goal is when I make $50,000 doing something else, at that point, I will stop selling things uh, and flipping things at Walmart. The second part of the plan, uh, for another form of income, I had to have three by my birthday, Fiverr. Uh, I tried to sell something on Fiverr. It was an entrepreneur and uh, business programs, and they weren't videos. So now I'm going to be selling something that's not related to that, that is videos, just to sh show to myself that you can sell things easier if they're videos as a... As a opposed to written programs. So um, it's just something fun. It's kind of an experiment. I don't think it'll make a lot of money. If it does work, then I will double down on it and do something else. I will not tell you exactly what the idea is until the idea is successful. I only want to advertise things that are successful and are making money. So then YouTube that's a, something that will create passive income and other forms of income like affiliate marketing where I can uh, sell, uh, have a link on my YouTube channel that people can refer to 
and click on it and then be able to um, buy something else and I would get a certain commission from that. In the meantime, I am just need to keep on plugging along. It's really hard to get a following at first on YouTube. I'm, I hope that I'm making some really good progress by the time I have 100 videos and at that, that time I'll reassess my strategies and see what it takes. Um, what I'm going to be doing, since it's a self-development channel, I have a program that can help people that's self-development that I will be going to people who could really use something for self-development like AA meetings, uh, maybe uh, drugs and nominance and different things like that. So, and from there, I can have people go through the program that I have, a life coaching program for free, and then have video testimonials on YouTube. And then from there, you know, later uh, start to sell them. So I do have a plan for that. Uh, I'm going to finish my series of 30 inspirational for YouTube, uh, 30 inspirational quotes, and they have really made an impact. And um, as I'm going through and fighting hard to achieve my goals and create a whole different life for myself, <clears throat> these are quotes that have really meant a lot to me. And then I want to have more of my monthly goal reports to be measurable. So I want to have certain things by the end of the month. So by the end of this month so far for the eBay, I definitely want to have all the pictures done and start selling on eBay. So all the pictures done selling on eBay and I'm going to finish all the videos for Fiverr and have those set up so I can be selling those. So I should be really in good progress and hopefully I'm going to do my best to be making money in two different ways by the end of this month would really would be a good way to start 2018. Okay, rental income. Um, this is going well um, through somebody that I know from a restaurant that I go to <coughs> found a renter for me and it, it was somebody he knew from the time he was a kid all the way from Bethlehem and this is the you can see this um, restaurant and see the types of food they have if you refer back to my diabetic uh, restaurant plan or uh, it's like a sample plan of what to eat if you have diabetes so refer back to that and so I got, um, it was just towards the end of the year, so I got $1,500 of passive income through this um, for 2017. But I, there's different scenarios where one or two, two, maybe even three different possibilities of families that will move in and that will help. Um, I can focus on other things because, you know, they'll, be people here that will you know clean the house and do things like that and cooking I'll save a lot of money that way and it'll be really nice to have all that company until I have a family of my own eventually so that's good health I got a little off track for a while I wasn't doing crazy but it got slightly off my diet supplements not falling as good as I should with the right discipline so going back to that re just getting back to the things that were really working well and giving me good numbers for diabetes and also I recently joined a gym so and the cool thing about this gym is you can get a personal trainer for free I'm sure it won't be the best in the world but it'll give you a basic idea maybe they'll spend a few minutes with me so going back to um yeah so my plan is to work on my goals and to go to the gym every day and every day every single day trying the be my best to come up with a youtube video um uh, plus a video that will I'll be part of the collection that i'll be selling on fiverr and also making really good progress on the ebay selling the videos and eventually flipping things on Walmart, which uh, there is a really good plan and I'll be following that. And I will t be telling you exactly how much I'm making from all of the new sources of income that I will be having. And 
The best thing is to create something that keeps on paying you. So you do the work and then your work just keeps on paying for you. And it's like your money just works for you. Like um, it's uh, mentioned in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So really, um, I'm starting to really make some progress. Some of these things may not work out as the way I want. But nevertheless, I will keep on pushing and I will keep on advancing. I want to really make a huge, 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 huge um, change in my life this this year that will just um, get me really on a track where I look back at 2018 and see just uh, something really good that's just being created in all areas of my life. Um, girlfriend, um, as far as that went, this is still one of my goals to have a girlfriend by the time I graduate. Uh, there was a potential possibility. There was some things that just don't work there, but nevertheless, uh, there was some positive things that came out then. It was a learning experience. I will not go into the details of it, but to say that now I will, I now through the, all the people I've met, I have a bigger network and they're from a different culture and they don't frown upon, unlike um, most Americans, I can't say all, where they don't really feel comfortable about setting you up with different people, which is fine. It does, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the good thing about that is it's people that already know you and know your good qualities and that can let a lady feel more comfortable at least giving it a try. So that that is working out in the respect that I know I will meet maybe one, maybe a few women this year just through that through that whole network that I have through people that I met that are from Bethlehem. A real big uh, social network that I got. But I'm not going to completely rely on that. I will have my own my own very own uh, plan and keep on changing it so I don't get bored or in a rut and if nothing else I will have different experiences. So I've broken it down monthly by month, month by month where I will be looking for women. Uh, some of these things I think have less of a chance than others but hey I'm just giving give all of these things a try and it's all one month. So in January I will be going to recommended in Orange County singles bars February, I will be uh, visiting some nightclubs. Um, I don't really see much happening there, but I see um, with the single spars and the nightclubs and some of these things, I will also be asking women questions and things that will give me information and will just make it interesting. So it'll be kind of like a video journal too. So February nightclubs, uh, March art museums. You could find, uh, I believe, higher quality people in art museums and places like that, people that are uh, more people, I mean, women that have uh, very inter varied interests and are not just caught up in gossip and things like this. April, visiting different beaches. May, uh, different foreign restaurants. They'll be neat to meet different foreign food and and maybe a woman that's uh, you know more foreign. Uh, June uh, tourist attractions that locals. I mean, a lot of times there's tourist attractions near you of places to see and visit that really don't cost a lot of money that even me like the locals don't go to. And if I go there, you can f find foreign women and different people that way. Uh, July, uh, different like. Uh, places where they f sell flowers and um, beautiful spots and there's some places like be some beaches and some other places that um, that you can find women. Uh, August, <laughs> I don't know why I came up with this one, hotel lobbies. September, cultural festivals. Uh, then in October, religious organizations be visiting different religions, not to convert, but just to meet women from different parts of the world. And other museums, these are ones that are not um, art museums. Um, then ending the year in December with ballroom dancing. 
interesting. <laughs> so anyways, so that's kind of the plan there. Uh, reading, I want to read at least 12 books. I'm following a specific plan and there's a thing to my reading and what I'm reading will help me learn what I need to for my goals and what I'm trying to create. I am starting in January a book club that has to do with Robert Greene's books. Robert Greene has written several different books that help business leaders and the first meeting that I'll have on Meetup Group at my home will be <clears throat> about the 48 laws of power and each month I will be going over 10 of the laws of power and I will discuss what they are and see from the my group members each of the laws of power if we have used these laws of powers or how we could use these law of power so we will be strategizing uh, and seeing what we can use from those strategies that we can use in our own personal lives to help our own businesses etc i will also be finishing a, another uh, life coaching program called the 100 points of light these are 100 things that you can use to really improve your life different words of wisdom and strategies life strategies and then i will be on um, my first uh, life coaching program i will be uh, showing it and advertising it to different real estate offices and life insurance because these are people who can use a lot of coaching and the life coaching program I have are strategies that very successful people have used. And from using these strategies, they can help people who are in real estate and life insurance because these are very challenging occupations because you got to sell yourself. I will be continuing my YouTube inter life lessons interviews. I have another one coming up where there, there's three people that are part of an, entre an apprentice um, program. I'm not going to reveal what um, profession it is, but they're all under the apprenticeship um, old model where you get hands-on learning on a skill, and that's how pe all people used to do it. We, people were, usually did in the old days whatever their father did. If their father was a carpenter, they were a carpenter. From the time they were little, they learned the skills little by little. I'm also going into a different um, plan as far as um, diet to try to get rid of diabetes. I will not go into the details because uh, I actually have somebody that I'm close to that would freak out if they heard what I'm going to do. So I don't want to have that negative flack, but I'm going to, um, if I do get rid of diabetes through this plan, then I will say what it is. And I also will try to find some business networking to get uh, connections. I was trying something and it didn't exactly work out and wasn't compatible with what I was doing. But nevertheless, I will try to get that again. And I was a member of Toastmasters and now I'm going to, uh, next week, I will be trying to, there's another one that you give speeches, it's more geared towards business and they videotape you, but I couldn't find that, but I have a link of somebody that I know that could help me get to the next step. I'm going back to pool. Uh, I kind of went through a hard time in my life recently where I thought one of my goals was going well, but I'm getting back on the ball and getting more disciplined, than, but I need some balance and I learned that the hard way earlier in my life. So I'm going back to pool. I'm going to be doing drills every day, just a little bit and playing in a tournament. And if I do place in that tournament and get money, I plan on playing in some tougher tournaments. So I'm going to use the easier tournament as a qualifier to play in the tougher tournament. So anyways, I'm getting, uh, I've learned a lot of lessons. I've made mistakes along the way, but I'm still going through. And I'm also, um, my main concern is eating out too much. So I plan on only eating out 
uh, once a week, and that's with a group of friends that I have that are seniors, and also with a friend, and and then also to find a lady too, but that's not my main thing right now, going to the restaurants anymore, but there is a strategy for going to the restaurants is very unique that I learned from a friend that I will show you on YouTube, not, not her in front of her, but I will show you the plan. It's very interesting to say the least and kind of fun. And I think it will work out pretty good. Anyways, you will see many different things and I'm going to try to have my YouTube more geared towards certain things. I want to focus more on the interviews, more on real life situations. Like there'll be the diary, a video diary of all the strategies I'm using to, to try to find a girlfriend. That will be very interesting and I'll explain these things in details. So live and learn, experiment, Keep on fighting the good fight. You only live once. Make it happen. And that's all I can say for this video. I'm going to really make a difference. And I'm going to do well in 2018. Kick ass. If you liked the video you just saw, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe button or the and the bell right next to it. Also, you can give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave a comment. Thank you.